Well, I'm Alan Dale from Gale Force Winds. It's great to be here on the Building in Newfoundland and Labrador podcast at the Women in Construction 2024 event. You know, I love being in conversation with people that are really making a difference, leaning into the challenges and building parts of Newfoundland. And of course, the college system, academia is a big part of that, training that next generation, putting people into the pipeline. Everybody's looking for top talent. Tell us a little bit about yourself and what you do. Okay, hi. So uh, my name is Lisa Lovelady. I am uh, Vice President Academic and Chief Operating Officer with Academy Canada Career College. And uh, we help students find work. So we help them get trained to be work ready and then we help them attach to the workforce. And it's very fulfilling. I bet it is. Anytime you deal with students is a very fulfilling thing. Academy of Canada, talk to me about your lens on the construction industry. I'm really honored to be, well, to consider myself a part of the construction industry, even though uh, no one will let me uh, drive a nail because we don't know what will happen. <laughs> yeah, but I approach it as an educator and with a lot of respect for our, our trades. And uh, yeah, so it's, it's really cool to have uh, an opportunity to lend my voice to what's happening and also hear from employers, from tradespeople about what's happening and how we can bring that back into our classrooms. So there's that whole reciprocal thing going on with communication. I love that when, when, a, when a college is receptive to industry needs and quickly able to adapt their offering to meet industry, that's an air perfect scenario. You must see that play out all the time. Y yeah, like we never get perfect. So, but what, what it does is it creates opportunities to learn, to grow, to improve. And uh, yeah, there's always scope to, to get a little better, to nudge that along. So it's, uh, it's something we take seriously and we're never done. You're never done. Yeah, yeah that's part of it. It's never boring either. <laughs> well, I love that, right? And you are never done, right? And particularly in the education sector, you're never done. Right. It's constantly evolving. You're constantly, and that's a fun space to be in, right? You know, women in construction, this is the third year now they've mm -hmm. done this, mm -hmm. started at a pretty high level of executives conversation and yeah. showing a pathway for women mm -hmm. in this industry. And then they moved to middle management, say there's some working people out there. And now this year it's with people with hands-on tools, sort of covering all aspects of the industry, showing people that there's a pathway here. It's a big open tent, this sector, and it's welcome for everybody. What are your thoughts on this form, women in construction? Uh, I enjoyed, uh listening um so i'm not on any of the panels or anything like that and that's a good thing um had the opportunity to sit and speak with uh one of our students uh she was on a panel and what a rock star you know and and having the opportunity to sit with her and say what could we do to be better you know what what is it that you could tell me and, and you don't have to answer me now and let's have a chat about how how can we make this better and uh it's, it's a wide open tent, but people won't come in unless they feel welcome. And it's really hard to feel welcome if there's no one else in the room that looks like you. Mm -hmm. um, and I would love to see uh, a more diverse student population in all of our programming. So that means more women in trades and that means more men in early childhood education. Right. So, but here we're talking about construction trades and yeah, there is definitely work to be done. There are significant barriers to overcome. We can be as friendly and as inclusive as we like, but if there are barriers to accessing funding to pay for education or figuring out how am I gonna get my kids to childcare and then make it to the job site on time, like all of these things we do um, and predominantly it is women that end up doing the the family bits you know taking the kids to take care and not me too you know i've got children it's um you've really got to put action behind the intent and you really got to put funding behind that as well because nothing gets done unless it's funded so there's definitely opportunities to improve and there's definitely a huge untapped workforce out there and uh the diversity is beyond uh, female identifying. There's uh, there's a way more groups of people out there who mm -hmm. we could be uh, uh, helping attach to the workforce, you know, and mm -hmm. that could help uh, increase our productivity, help uh, help our economy, and also make us stand out as uh, as the place to to be Newfoundland and Labrador to get things done.
So, you know, I've got big dreams and I'm hoping participating and uh, being actively involved in industry associations such as NLCA is one way of how we're going to get there because it does take time and you need to you need to really this helps like building like the awareness but there's more to be done I can't begin to express how much I appreciate your perspective on this <laughs> your lens on this um, and your leadership so thank you very much for being a part of this that's kind thank you so much